Welcome to the pipe flow head loss experiment. Whenever a fluid passes through a pipe, head loss will occur regardless because friction on the walls cannot be eliminated entirely. There are various factors that affect the quantity of head loss, such as velocity, pipe diameter, friction represented by a coefficient, and the length of the pipe, which are all combined into the darcy weisbach equation. This equation is used in the energy equation as it takes into consideration resistance between point 0.1 and point 0.2, differentiating the energy equation from Bernoulli's equation. As a result of the flow resistance, more energy needs to be exerted in order to overcome the head loss, often requiring larger pumps. For this reason, it is desirable to design a system with the least amount of head loss as possible. In order to understand the head loss in its entirety, it will be demonstrated in the laboratory. This here is the pipe flow head loss apparatus, which consists of a large reservoir on the bottom, a pump to circulate the water, a series of different diameter pipes, various valves to control the quantity and direction of flow, a pressure head measuring device, bleed valves, a measuring basin, and lastly hoses to connect all the components in a closed loop. To begin the experiment, first fill the bottom reservoir to just below the top. This is done by adding water to the measuring basin while lifting the dump valve to allow the water to pass through into the reservoir. To hold the dump valve open for long periods of time, rotate the handle of the dump valve so that the small arm rests on the top edge of the rounded piece. As a reminder, turning on the pump without any water in the reservoir will result in damage to the pump. Position the stand possessing the pipes against the end of the reservoir in such a way that the outflow from the top is collected in the measuring basin. Now, Close the valve on the reservoir. Close the flow control valve. Close all directional valves on the pipes. And open the dump valve. Plug the apparatus into the power source. And then turn on the pump. We will begin the experiment by flowing water through the largest leftmost pipe, which is 14 millimeters in diameter. To do this, first the handheld measuring device must be attached in a way to obtain pressure head values for only that pipe, which is done by connecting the inlet hose, denoted by a plus, to the bottom port of the apparatus, and the outlet hose, denoted by a minus, directly above the 14 millimeter pipe. Then, open the leftmost inlet and outlet directional valve so that the flow only passes through the 14 millimeter pipe. Now open the valve on the reservoir all the way. And begin to slowly open the inlet valve all the way. At this point, the flow is passing at a maximum rate. Hold the handheld measuring device over the measuring basin and open both the inlet and outlet bleed valve separately while closing the outlet valve until all the air bubbles have escaped from the pipes. This is a very important step and skipping it will yield inaccurate results. Now turn on the handheld measuring device and ensure the units read centimeters of H2O. This device takes pressure head readings at both port locations and displays the difference on the screen which represents head loss. Wait approximately one minute for the values to stabilize, then the apparatus is set up and the head loss readings can be recorded. Press the filter button if the values do not seem to stabilize and this will reduce the amount of fluctuations. The flow rate for this measurement must be recorded and this is done by first closing the dump valve in the measuring basin. Then, once the water level reaches zero, start a timer and record the time it takes for the water level to reach 10 liters.
ensure to open the dump valve after completing the test. This completes one run. Now pressure head measurements need to be taken for a minimum of three other flow rates. To change the flow rate, partially close the flow control valve at the bottom of the apparatus by turning the valve until the desired amount of head loss is achieved. Wait approximately one minute for the values to stabilize. This completes the procedure for the 14mm pipe. Now it needs to be completed for the three other pipe diameters. To switch the flow from the 14mm pipe to another pipe diameter, close the flow control valve completely and close all directional valves. For the 6mm pipe, the hoses for the handheld measuring device do not need to be moved but a series of four valves need to be opened. For the 10 mm pipe, the outlet hose for the handheld measuring device needs to be moved to the right side of the apparatus. Then, two valves need to be opened. Lastly, for the 9mm pipe, the hoses for the handheld measuring device do not need to be moved, but three valves need to be opened. Then, the remaining procedure is the same by opening the flow control valve all the way, and as a reminder, remember to bleed the pipes whenever switching from one to another. After recording the head loss, ensure to measure the flow rate and then perform a minimum of three other runs, each with a different flow rate, for all pipe diameters tested. To shut off the apparatus, close the flow control valve, close the valve on the reservoir, and turn off the pump. Then close the inlet directional valves, but open the outlet valves. Lastly, unplug the apparatus from the power source. This completes the pipe flow head loss experiment. Thank you for watching.